Hello everybody, hope you're having a great day and welcome to today's video on the channel and in today's video I want to talk about the new spell changes that are presumably coming in the new PvP season or the Walleroo update. Now a lot of these changes is something the community has been complaining about for months and even debatably years in some cases. So I am happy to see an update come out of this. There are still many other things that are left unchanged uh, as to our knowledge for now but overall I think this will be a pretty good update in my opinion and without further ado let's get right into the spells and what is all changing guys okay so the first thing I want to talk about is going to be the elephant in the room and that is going to be regenerate I'll have this up on screen right now for y'all to look at so basically this spell got nerfed pretty heavily you know uh, a lot of the community's complaint was the fact that it was being spammed and the burst heal on it was way too much so what king's all did actually is they toned that burst healing down by about like 400 or so uh 300 or so i would say and they limited it to only a one time use kind of like how our shuffle is in the main deck also there's only four copy limits on it as you can see on the side the little gold circles so basically you can't run dark more deck and pack like 10 regenerates and always have it available now you might actually have to cycle out your regenerates and tactically use it so overall i think this is a good change for the health of the game uh you can still regenerate if you want obviously you can still heal on a life wizard but it should not ever have been a tactic to simply just stall and make your opponents leave the game I don't think that's fair at all but yeah personally i think this is a very very good change and i think a lot of the community is going to be extremely happy about this one next up i want to talk about goat monk now goat monk essentially is the same thing when you actually look at the numerical stuff the healing got nerfed by roughly about 200 total over five rounds so that's actually pretty big when you think of it over five rounds guys Obviously, the damage is still insane on Goat Monk, and with the amount of outgoing, it's still going to be a lot. If this card is spammed, which it probably still will be, I'm theorizing, it still might be a bit of a problem, but we'll have to see about that. But uh, I am happy to see they're at least trying to engage with the community's complaints about the meta, like Goat Monk spam and regenerate now. Next up, I want to talk about Hungry Caterpillar uh, again. This spell got nerfed by about 300, you know, just the heal got sliced in half, essentially, over five turns. So, uh, again, if you're going to want to run these heals, it's probably going to have to be for a Gambit, like a Life Scion, or maybe like a Seraph and stuff like that, you know. So, again, the developers are just trying to incentivize Life Wizards to actually play the game and engage with the system, rather than just sit on their asses and only jade and stall and heal and not actually play the game at all so yeah i do think this is a pretty good change to hungry caterpillar uh the damage on it i still think has uh you know a little bit too much damage in my opinion and the damage range is really big so i'd really like to see the damage range be like tightened for at least a bit more consistency on spells like this in the future that's just a minor nitpick i have Next up, we have Pigsy. This thing follows the same exact format as Regenerate as we, saw, as we saw at the start of the video. Only one time use, and you can only pack four, so you can't just hold on to them the entire game, right? You actually have to cycle it out and heal at a good time, tactically. Also, the burst healing on it, again, has been nerfed quite a bit. I think it was like 500 before in Live Realm, so again, that got gutted the burst heal component because that's not really supposed to be a thing. Uh, however, the overtime heal still is pretty big. So when you actually look at the card, it's actually a really, really solid card for four pips, even in 1v1 PvP. This card actually still might not be bad for a life to pack. Obviously, you can only pack one or gen and one pigsy now. But they're still very powerful cards and they can still swing the game in your favor. So might not be a bad idea to pack these now. And lastly here, I want to talk about Dark and Stormy. Now, this one is a little bit more controversial, I'll say. Uh, simply because, obviously, Storm, a school that 
a lot of people would say is the worst school at max level right now by a landslide. Uh, this is just a direct nerf to Dark and Stormy, unfortunately. Uh, you basically just lose, I think, 220 healing over 5 turns, like, period, and a storm, and a story. Now, uh, again, the reason I think this is kind of stupid is simply because we are, uh, again, we're just taking stuff that is out of meta and just either making it worse or changing something that does not need it to be changed. The only thing Storm can do right now in the meta is heal and you just simply make that worse. So I don't really know. Uh, they could have took the other approach a couple of updates ago where they nerfed the healing, but they buffed the damage on Dark and Stormy. That's what they did a couple of seasons ago in case you're wondering, but they just directly nerfed this card now, which I think um, just, again, it was a change for the sake of change. Not really needed. Nobody was complaining about this, at least obviously at max level. The main complaints have been resist, vampire, uh, jading, brace, that kind of thing. Blade counters being too good. That's been the, you know, general complaints. Not really stuff like this because, you know, if a school isn't even played at max level, why are you even, like, if it's not played because it's horrible, why are we nerfing it to keep people not playing it? You know, doesn't really make any sense. This is the only change I'm not really a fan of, but it is King's Isle we're talking about at the end of the day. You know, they nerfed something that's not a problem. And uh, yeah, I don't know, man. That's really it. We don't have any changes for Barry as of right now. So Barry is still going to be really, really good. We're all assuming. But I don't know. I feel like if Dark and Stormy got nerfed, why would Barry Surprise not get nerfed? Because you know? if anything, very surprised is way more spammable than Dark and Stormy, you know? Um, so yeah, again, I just, I don't really understand this change. Doesn't really make any sense to me personally. If it does to you guys and you actually have a, you know, complaint that would make sense, please let me know why down in the comments below. Because again, right now, no storms are playing because of how unplayable the school is and how unfun it is. So just simply making the school worse even on something as bad as heal over times on a storm just simply doesn't make sense to me. So if you guys would like to explain it to me, my ears are open, eyes and ears are open in the comments. And uh, yeah, I think most of this update is pretty good in my opinion, guys. I hope you guys uh, did enjoy this video. Looking forward to read your feedback down there in the comments below. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching this far. And as always, take care, y'all.